This morning, two Louisville police officers are recovering, shot during unrest overnight that gripped much of the city's downtown. This gunfire captured in a police live stream in the area where the officer's shooting took place. Officer down, right there. Officer down. I am very concerned about the safety of our officers. Obviously, we've had two officers shot tonight, and that is very serious. It's a very dangerous condition. Anger spilling into the streets after the grand jury decision in the Breonna Taylor case. Louisville under a 9 p.m. curfew. The National Guard moving in as police and protesters clashed. Similar emotions echoing in cities nationwide, from Chicago to Atlanta to New York City, even turning violent in Denver and Buffalo, where cars plowed into protesters, and in Portland, where a Molotov cocktail thrown at police caused chaos. Taylor, a 26-year-old former EMT, was shot to death back in March when police, with a no-knock warrant, entered her apartment. She was inside with her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker. He says police never announced themselves. According to the state's attorney general, officers and a civilian witness say they did. Walker thought they were intruders and fired a shot. Police responded with gunfire, killing Taylor. Of the three officers involved, only one will face charges, but not for Taylor's death. Former officer Brett Hankison charged with wanton endangerment for firing bullets into Taylor's apartment that ended up in a neighboring apartment. For the other two officers, no charges. According to Kentucky law, the use of force by Mattingly and Cosgrove was justified to protect themselves. There will be celebrities, influencers, and activists who, having never lived in Kentucky, will try to tell us how to feel, suggesting they understand the facts of this case, but they don't. Asked about the case, President Trump praised Kentucky's Attorney General. Daniel Cameron is doing a fantastic job. I think he's a star. Mob justice is not justice. Justice sought by violence is not justice. I heard that. I said, write that down for me, please, because I think it's, it was a terrific statement. But for many filling the streets... Was it surprising for you? No, it's not surprising. Very rarely do black people get justice when it comes to police. In a scathing statement, attorney Ben Crump, who represents Taylor's family, writes, How ironic and typical that the only charges brought in this case were for shots fired into the apartment of a white neighbor. Hey, Shalom, uh, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, this is the brother, my eye, Kadar, uh, from the Great Millstone Camp here in Cleveland, uh, back with another lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying to a hopeful elect member, all right? First and foremost, I would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kodash. Double honors uh, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and uh, blessings and uh, respect to all you Akim out there that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Uh, putting your freedom and lives at risk, standing up in great boldness for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? And, um, hey, man, this is Esau. Okay, this is Esau. And um, our people, you know, they want some, you know, type of sympathy or, you know, love shown by this devil. All right? Which the love that our people are looking for is not there. Okay? Esau doesn't love you. Okay? Now, Esau's not going to give you an apology, okay? He's not going to show any sympathy, man, okay? Because he's a devil, okay? And um, let's get straight into the precepts, okay? This is Ezekiel 35 and 5, okay? It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, okay? Now, let's go into this word perpetual. H5769, Olam, Olam. Long duration, forever, everlasting, okay? So the hatred that these so-called white people have for not only just the so-called blacks, okay? The, the Latin tribes as well, man. The hatred that they have for us is a everlasting hatred, okay? Which means in the kingdom, this devil will hate us, okay? This devil is going to hate us, you know, all the way to he's done with slavery and, uh, you know, be con being consumed, okay? He's going to hate us all the way up until that point, man. He has, he has a never-ending hatred, so there's no real love there, okay? Now, the scriptures talk about their words being smoother than butter, 
you know, but wars in their heart. So, you know, they, they may speak, you know, kind and nicely outwardly, but inwardly they're cursing you, man. These devil hates us, okay? And when you go down to, I believe, the verse 12, and this is, you know, Yahweh Shemiah was shot speaking to this devil, man. He said, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord and, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying that they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume, man. So these devils believe that, you know, we're, you know, their possession, you know, forever. You know, the Lord, you know, put us in their possession for them to consume us, man. Okay? And that's not the case, man. Okay? That's not the case. Let me get this precept. Zechariah 11 and a 5, okay? It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, man. And... This Brianna Taylor case is, is 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 a prime example, all right. But you got many other prime examples where Israelites were, you know, gunned down by these heathens, man, and uh, you know, no justice was served, man. Okay, and it says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Okay, and um. And, you know, this is how, you know, the Lord set things up, man. You know, this is how, you know, life is, you know, right now due to our, you know, iniquities, man. Due to us, you know, transgressing the law, man. And, you know, Jake out here, you know, you know, as you witness, you know, shooting at the police, you know, joining these, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter or the NFACs as if, you know, they are, they they supposed to get some type of justice and rioting and, you know, looting and, you know, you know, uh, fighting the police back, man. But that's not how you're going to get true justice, man. You know, you're going to get true justice by, you know, coming back to your how about Shemiah was shy, learning the truth and moving wisely. Hey, this devil blessing is the sword, man. And he's 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 using it at an all time high and he's going to use it to the full max in the time that's approaching. Okay, and that's why the Lord says certain things like agree with thine adversary and the Lord, you know, you know, hey, be circumspect. You know, the Lord tells us how to move, you know, when you come into this uh, your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, to, to, you know, stay clear of this devil, man. Okay, but, you know, our people, they don't, they don't, they don't comfort themselves in, 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 in the scriptures or, you know, they don't, they don't inquire of these things through the man of the Lord, man. You know, they take it. On their own and their own, into their own hands, man. Joining, like I said, joining these you know different groups, you know that Esau infiltrated. Okay, as if you know some, he's gonna get scared and you know give them justice or show them sympathy, man. Okay, but he's a devil once again. All right, and hey, man, you know ultimately, you know taking matters in your own hands is not what you're supposed to do. Okay, this is uh, Romans twelve and nineteen. It says, "Dearly beloved." Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, and I will repay, saith the Lord. Okay? So, hey, man, Yahabah Shimei Awashah is going to repay these uh, devils, man, and these heathens for everything they have done unto us, man. Okay? And it's not our job to take vengeance in our own hand, man, because that's only going to, uh, you know, make things worse, man. Okay? And um, and get you judged ultimately, man, because, hey, man, you know, at the end of the day, we're still in captivity under the rulership of this devil, man. OK, so, you know, hey, man, the scriptures say wait ye upon the Lord. All right. But I'm going to close with this precept. OK, this is the book of Psalms. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter uh, 17 and 13. OK, it says uh, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. OK, and that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Praying to your how The Lord, the one that set this devil on high. OK. The Lord gave this devil that position over us, man. Like I said, due to our transgressions. So we're supposed to pray to the Lord to cast this man down, okay? Cast him down. Just get him out the way, man. Take him from, you know, off that horse, man, okay? Make him powerless, man, okay? It says, cast him down. Disappoint him. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. Because ultimately, uh, Esau is the sword of the Heavenly Father, man, okay? And this is the only way we're going to get true justice, Okay, it's about waiting on the Lord and let the Lord, you know, rise up to the prayer, as the scriptures say, okay? So, hey, man, I hope this was edifying. And uh, with that, I want to say shalom, wa, abai, wa,